my pussy eater and welcome back to another recipe on my channel today today I am going to make another one of our firm family favorites and that's ham and cheese roll-ups made with pre-made or shop-bought pastry these ham and cheese roll-ups are so quick and easy to make and they're a really delicious treat dinner to have for kids and they also make great appetizers if you're having a party too so as for the ingredients that we're going to need today first up you need one sheet of puff pastry so that can be either the refrigerated kind or the kind that you can find in the freezer in the store either is fine next up we're going to need some pizza or tomato sauce now any kind can do again it can be shop bought it can be homemade I've got a great recipe for homemade tomato sauce which I will link to below which I use for all kinds of, kinds of things like pizza, pasta, pastry roll-ups like this so do check that out if you're looking for a new recipe. You're going to need about 75 to 100 grams, that's probably about a third to a half a cup of sauce depending on the size of your puff pastry sheet. Next up you're going to need some slices of deli ham, so that's cooked ham and you'll need about six slices for this. Next up is cheese, I used grated cheddar and um, that's about 100 grams or about one and a half cups of grated cheese but again it might be a little more or less depending on the size of your pastry sheet. You're also going to need one egg and that needs to be beaten in a cup and also some mixed dried herbs which we're just going to sprinkle on top. Okay so let's get started with this recipe. First up you need to preheat the oven so you need it at 200 degrees centigrade or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Next you want to take a baking tray or a cookie sheet and line it with some parchment paper. Okay so let's get started. First up we're going to take our pizza sauce and spread it across the base of the pastry sheet. You want a nice even covering on the pastry sheet with the sauce but you don't want to overload it so that it becomes too soggy. Okay, so next up we're going to place our ham on top of the pizza sauce. Next up we're going to take our cheese and sprinkle that on top. So I use just, um, just cheddar in this, but you can use a mixture of cheese as well. I have made it before with a mixture of cheddar and parmesan, that's really tasty too. Okay, next comes the fun bit and that's rolling the pastry up. So you're going to bring it towards you and start to roll from one side. And try to keep it as kind of neat and compact as you can because that will just help to keep all the filling inside. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to flip it around this way and roll it like so. Okay, so next up we're going to cut this. And I would recommend a really kind of a, a long sharp knife because what you want to do is to cut into the pastry and into the ham and cheese as quickly and as firmly as possible just to stop it all smushing up. Now you can really cut these any kind of size that you want. I tend to make them roughly about one inch because it just makes kind of uh, a good size for the kids and for adults to eat too. Now that they're all cut up, we're going to transfer them onto that baking sheet that we've already lined with the parchment paper. Next, we're going to take our egg and crack it into a cup and beat it. And very quickly, we're just going to egg wash the very edges of our pastry. Finally, we're going to sprinkle on some dried herbs on top. Okay, so our ham and cheese roll-ups are ready for the oven. We're going to put them into bake for about 15 minutes. Um, they should take about 15 minutes, but I would check them maybe from about 12. And you'll know they're done when the pastry goes a lovely golden brown colour and all the cheese is bubbling up inside. Okay, so let's have a look and see if they're ready. Got to try one straight away. Mm. That is so so good. The puff pastry is really flaky on the outside, but really soft on the inside, where it's mixed with the 
pizza sauce and the cheese and it's gone all gooey. Really, really delicious. I hope you enjoy this recipe. For more easy and healthy recipes that the whole family will enjoy, check out myfussyeater.com and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.